Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel SCF Wargaming Studio. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking and this is Wargaming News. So with the recent development coming out of a war, um, Game Social community uh, post um, that was released yesterday, uh, well two days ago uh, as you're watching this, uh, speculation has run rampant about what um, this message well, we, we kind of know what it means, but we don't know exactly what it is. So let me first read out the message for you who don't know. There are a number of people who watch the channel who hasn't got access to Facebook, so obviously um, they, they might not know. So um, inside this, this post, which is about uh, upcoming miniatures for a, um, a Rogue Trader board game from Game Shop, you have a sneak preview of, uh, of new uh, models for Age of Sigma for the Night Haunter army. You also have Shadespire cards, sneak peek of that, as well as um, House Cordor for, for Necromunda. But at the bottom of the, the uh, message you have the following. An unexpected boxed set. And that's not all. Over the last few years gaming in Middle-earth has seen something of a renaissance. With Forgeworld having vastly expanded the world of the Hobbit and Unexpected Journey strategy battle game with a range of models, gaming events across the world consistently drawing considerable crowds and battle companies allowing players to fight epic, campa uh, epic campaigns with only a handful of models, the Middle Earth team have decided to it's finally time to release something big. And Battle of the Pelmer Fields is just the start. Watch this space for further announcements which is followed by the logo for the Middle-Earth strategy battle game, which only has one publication so far, which is the Battle Company's book, and then the Lord of the Rings Battle for Pelham of Pelham Fields logo as well. Right, so let's, let's take a deep dive into this message. So, the, um, the community post uh, offers kind of a, a congratulatory pat on the back for the community, which have done awesome stuff over the past uh, years. It has kept the community uh, alive and well through the dark ages, as we like to call it, uh, in addition to the, the Forgeal team stepping in, taking over the license, and uh, making new models and new supplements uh, like there and back again and, um, and the Battle Company's book. And then also uh, giving a nod to um, uh, groups such as the GBHL, the OHA, um, the DCHL, uh, IHL, uh, as well as the um, the Italian League, uh, the French League, the German League, as well as minor leagues all across the world. So the community bases have um, are selling out huge events and and drawing consistent big crowds. Which of course Articon, the biggest um, gaming event in Middle Earth strategy battle game history with 228 slots, I think 225 or 226 tickets out of those are now sold. So record-breaking numbers for events all across the world, which is fantastic. So big cool thing, they give us a nod for that. Um, and then they have decided to release something big. And this is something we have rumored and, and speculated about for, for over a year now, is what will Game Social bring out? Um, and, and what kind, and we've asked in, in Q&As with, with the likes of Adam Trogue and Jay Clare at Articon and at Throne of Skulls and other events, will there be another starter set? Alright, so the, the, uh, the post doesn't say that it's going to be a starter set, it's going to say, it says, the title is an unexpected box set. So we don't know if this is a starter set or a big box set with just miniatures in it. We don't know. So, and anyone who thinks they know either works for Game Search Up or, uh, or is, is full of themselves, kind of like me, who speculates a bit, but at least I say I'm speculative about it, I, I don't say I know. Because I really don't, I'm just speculating and reading between the lines. So, so yeah, it is, um, it will be apparently a big box models, uh, a box set because obviously you could call the war uh, the um, Hood Beastmaster on, on Royal War Moment, that's a box set, but is it the box set we're looking for? Probably not, because they've already released that and that is a big model. So I'm thinking this is either a starter set containing uh, either a scaled down or a full version of the new rulebook, 
or this will be uh, a kind of harkens back to the old box sets of armies. So you had, for instance, the uh, the Pelennor Fields boxes. There were two of them: one for Mordor uh, slash Harad slash Eastlings, and one for uh, Minas Tirith slash Fiefdom slash Rohan. So you had these different kinds of boxes, uh, and it might be something like that, uh, but we don't know. Right. So what's next on my my talking point? Well. Um, will this be Forge World or GW? Well, it will definitely be both. Uh, because, of course, Forge World uh, has the team under it, which is the Specialist Games Division. Under that, again, is the, uh, is the Middle Earth team. So the Middle Earth team is under Forge World, so it will be uh, Forge World in some parts. But what Forge World doesn't do, or at least hasn't done until this point, is release plastic miniatures. But we have seen cross-releases between specialist games branches such as Blood Bowl and Necromunda release a plastic box and then be supplemented by more plastic boxes and resin components from, or resin models even, from Forge World. So this might be a, a big resin box full of wonderful Forge World miniatures, or it might be the thing we have been dying for for a number of years, which is a big, big box of new plastic miniatures. Or it might be just repackaging old plastic miniatures with some terrain and the new rulebook and calling it that a day. But I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure, again, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that's not what they're doing. Because just doing that would have kind of a sore taste in everyone's mouth. There isn't a single plastic box set that has been uh, discontinued from Game Workshop uh, for the range in my to my knowledge. I don't think so. No, I'm pretty sure that's not the case. So, um, so yeah, I, I think this will be uh, this will be something new and, uh, and it will be probably be a big box and that's what I'm hoping as well. Right, so plastic or resin, if it's a pure forge oil product it will be of course resin. Uh, if it's plastic it will be a GW product. Um, so that kind of answers its own question, but we won't know until time comes. So, uh, so yeah, it, it is very, very cool um, to, to speculate about that. Kind of what the Fallout community is doing currently with Fallout 76, with all the speculation about what it is, because there hasn't been an official answer to exactly what it is as of this point. So yeah, it, we are living in an exciting age where not only do we have a, uh, a wonderful team of, of members uh, for the, from the Forge World staff who are making fantastic miniatures, wonderful rules, cool campaigns, additional articles in White Wolf, but they're also planning for the future and planning for something big, something that, through the title, at least I didn't expect because they have flat out told us no starters yet, but maybe we weren't asking the right question. That could be. So the final question to ask ourselves is when? When will this be a thing? Well, they've, um, they've not set a time date and they already crossed some of the dates I thought possible for the release of, uh, of the new rulebook. Obviously the GW fiscal year ends at uh, May 31st each year and, um, and that's Bef just before that is probably the time I would release something big because it, it drives up the stock prices uh, with increased sales over that period and, uh, and again uh, they didn't really release something big in that time period for either 40k or, or Age of Sigma. So I was thinking that was a fantastic time for that to come out but obviously something has happened. There has been a delay or they've, uh, they've they have another release date planned. We don't know. I don't work for the team, so I have no idea. But something probably has happened, or they just scheduled another date. But uh, what is what is consistently true in in most cases, I I know I uh, got a comment about the uh, the Goblin Mercenaries, which were shown way before three months of release. But um, Consistently, they haven't shown products that aren't coming out until... Uh, they haven't shown products that are not coming out within 
three months of the initial um, initial statement of, of release. Although we haven't seen any products yet, so of course this might be breaking the mold as well. But I think August, possibly Articon, at the latest. That's my opinion. Uh, take it or leave it. I, I'm not uh, in the know, so I, I have no clue <laughs> exactly when. But it is an exciting time to be a follower of the, uh, the Middle Earth uh, project at Game Show Shop. I am looking forward to loads of cool terrain, loads of wonderful miniatures. Either I'm making the terrain myself or there will be new terrain to buy. Um, I'm looking forward to loads of cool miniatures uh, that I've either reprinted, like, well, not reprinted, but re re released in a four jeweled medium, such as this one night of the Lamroth. I know Nicholas, who's, uh, who's over there at the painting table, is dying to get his hands on some of the new Swan Knights on foot. So, um, so yeah. Um, either way, I am pretty excited and I know a lot of people are. So let's leave it at that and uh, as always, when something really credible, something really, really um, big announcements are coming, I will be there to share, share with you the news as fast as possible. Couldn't do it yesterday because it was too damn hot, as they say, uh, here in Norway, because it's over 30 degrees centigrade and I'm melting. So that's it. So thank you for watching this video. As always, please comment, like, share and subscribe and consider supporting STF on Patreon using the link in the description below. It is a fantastic way for you to support this YouTube channel in our endeavors here. For only a dollar a month or more, you can support us and our studio. Keep the lights on, get better camera equipment, better lighting, better, better, better audio equipment. Everything is due to our patrons who support this project. And you get cool, fantastic, exclusive videos such as Nicholas and Arling's um, Bal Company's report we just filmed and, uh, and loads of other cool stuff early as well. So check out that link below and, uh, and give us a support if you want to. And as ever, support your hobby.